Hello students, today chapter 1 GST, Goods and Services Tax. Every government, be it central or state government needs money for administrative expense, development scheme, salary, employee. So in India, we have two types of taxes. One is direct tax, another one indirect tax. Direct taxes are those that levied on income of individuals or organizations. Example, income tax, corporate tax, etc. Indirect taxes are those that are paid by consumers or organization when they buy goods or services. Now, the important terms you should know. First one, dealer. A dealer is a person who buys goods, services for resale. Buying and then selling. Cost price. This is the basic price. It is a price at which a trader buys goods. So this is a basic price. Then third one is list price. After buying the businessman or shopkeeper, what he will do? He will increase the price. It is the price at which an article is marked. Other names are Marked price, printed price, quoted price. So, it is more than cost price. Next one is discount. After rising, what they will do? They will give the discount in a percentage. It is given in percentage. It is calculated on list price. So, you have to calculate the discount. Discount percent of list price is discount. The next one is selling price or sale price or discounted price you have to list price minus discount you are subtracting that is called the discounted price other names are sale price selling price so for example five percent of discount given means discount is equal to five percent of list price five by hundred into list price this is the discounted price the next term is tax it is calculate on the sale price. Suppose there is no discount, you can calculate only for the list price. Here, after discount, it means a discounted price you have to calculate. So, if there is a discount, after discount, you have to calculate the tax. Otherwise, for the list price, you have to calculate the tax. Final price, this is the sale price plus tax or list price plus tax. Sale price or list price. Sale price represent after discount. If there is no discount, it is the list price. So, list price plus tax. Yes, come to GST. GST means goods and services tax. It is applicable throughout the country. One nation, one tax was the aim of the government in implementing GST. So, in throughout our country, there is the same percentage it will be. Every businessman pays GST on purchase made by him and collect GST on sale of his goods. While purchasing, he will pay the tax. While selling, he will collect the tax from others. Yes, next, tax deposited by the businessman with the government. First, he is paying the tax, then he is collecting. But to government, how much he has to pay means... GST collected minus GST paid or GST on the sale price minus GST on cost price. You can take a common GST on sale price minus CP. What is selling price minus CP? His benefit. So, the GST on the value addition, output tax minus input tax. What is the output tax for the selling price? Tax on selling price is called output tax. Tax on cost price is input tax or tax on profit. This is the amount of tax paid by the man to the government. More about GST. And more thing you have to learn about the GST. GST is the destination based consumption tax. GST comprises of first one is central GST that is CGST which is collected by the central government for the intrastate transaction, intrastate transaction. 
Intrastate means supply within the same state, within Karnataka or within Tamil Nadu or within Maharashtra, if they are selling, this is called intrastate. The state GST, SGST or Union Territory GST, UGST, state GST, UGST. CGST means Central GST, state GST or Union so, which is collected by the state government or union territory for the intrastate or union territory transaction. Next one is integrated GST, IGST, which is levied by the central government for interstate transaction, interstate supply from one state to another state, one state to another Intra within the state, interstate means supply from one state to another state. In case of interstate, the transaction seller, intra, the seller collects both CGST and SGST from the buyer. If the rate of GST 18%, the rate of SGST 9%, rate of CGST 9%. Half it will go to the state government, another half it will go to the central government. So 18% you are divide half half. In case of interstate transaction, the seller collect IGST from the buyer and a deposit with the central government. So directly, if the rate of GST 18%, then rate of integrated GST is same 18%. They will collect and it will give to the government. So you have to remember intra means CGST and SGST half of SGST. And if it is the interstate then you have to calculate IGST the full percentage you have to calculate. Okay now some examples I will explain. Then one A exercise you can do well. Then for one B, again in the next video, I will explain all the explanation and I will do the sums. Okay, now for example, a dealer in Darwad, Darwad in Karnataka, okay, person X, supply goods and service worth 6,000 rupees to Y, a person. This is a person, this is a person. He is in Darwad. He is in services in Haveri. It is also in Karnataka. So, both are in Karnataka. That means what then? Within Karnataka. So, you have to calculate the sum is the GST is 28 percentage given. You have to calculate central GST, state GST, integrated GST. This is within the state. That means what? Intrastate. Within state means intrastate. So, you have to calculate both CGST and SGST half of SGST. So now the tax will be shared equally by central government as CGST and by the state government or as SGST. So GST is 28 percentage, therefore CGST is 14 percentage, SGST is 14 percentage. So CGST is 14 percent of 6000 rupees 840. SGST also remaining 14 percentage 840. IGST nil. There is no, it is intra. So final amount, this is the amount and this is GST and GZ, SGST and CGST, both you have to add. So you are getting the final amount paid by Y is equal to 7680 rupees. Yes, come to the next example. A is a dealer in Karnataka, supply the goods worth rupees 5000 to be in Agra. He is in Karnataka. He is giving, selling it to B in Agra. Agra in UP. So this is what? Interstate. The rate of GST 28 percentage. Find the tax and final amount. So here the question is what is CGST, SGST and IGST. And in the case of interstate, CGST is nil. There is no CGST. SGST also nil. IGST you have to find out. Integrated GST. 28% full amount, full percentage you have to take. 28% of 5,000 you are calculating. 28 by 100 into 5,000, 1,400 is the IGST. So final amount paid by B to A, 5,000 plus 1,400 is equal to rupees 6,400. 
Now you have to remember GST is calculated on the amount after deducting the discount. That means for discounted price only you have to calculate always tax. Discount is never allowed on the amount including GST. After calculating the interest you should not subtract the discount first. Only in the list price you have to subtract the discount and then you have to calculate what is tax. Okay now we'll come to the example 3. Find the amount of bill for the intra-state, intra within state. The rate of GST 12 percentage, MR fee 250 rupees and discount 30 percent. So including a discount sum, now I am going to discuss. Okay, now MRP is equal to, that is marked price 250 rupees, discount 30 percentage. Therefore, sale price. What is the other name? Discounted price. 250 minus 30 percent of 250. You are calculating the discount 30 percent of the list price. So, 250. From that, you are subtracting the discount. 250 minus 75, 175 rupees is the discounted price. For this, you are going to calculate the tax. It is the intrastate. So, you are finding CGST and SGST. Here, it is given 12 percentage means 6 percent for CGST, 6 percent for SGST, 6 percent of 175. 6 by 100 into 175, 10 rupees 50 paise. SGST also 10 rupees 50. So, total final amount is equal to 175. This is the discounted price or sale price plus CGST, SGST rupees 196 rupees is the final amount. These are the small example I explained. Now, come to the exercise 1A. Question number one, again and again, uh, all the students revise the example sums also, go through the example sums, then you can easily understand the sums. Okay, now come to the first sum. The transaction within Delhi, within Delhi means intrastate. Market price, market price is given 12,000, discount 30 percentage, GST 18 percentage. Already I, I discussed the similar question. Discount 30% of 12,000 you are calculating 30 by 100 into 12,000, 3,600. This is discount. Now discounted the price. That is selling price from 12,000 subtracting the discount you are getting 8,400 rupees. This is the discounted or selling price. It is intrastate. So, CGST and SGST, there is no IGST. So, 18% total GST means in this half 9%, 9% of 8400, 9 by 100 into 8400, 756. And SGST also 9%, 9 by 100 into 8400, 756. And the IGST is rupees 00. This is not 500. This is rupees 00 or nil you can easily write. Uh, therefore, the amount of bill discounted price is 8400 and CGST 756, SGST 756 add all the three 8400 plus 756 plus 756. You are getting rupees 999912. You are getting 9,912 rupees is the final amount because it is intrastate. Yes, question number two, I am going to explain. It is intrastate. So, different question I am explaining. So, you can do the other sums. The transaction from Delhi to Jaipur. Delhi, Jaipur, interstate. Here, there is no CGST, SGST. Only you have to calculate IGST. MRP means marked price. Discount 20, GST 28%. So, first you have to calculate discount. 20% of 50,000, 10,000. Therefore, selling price or discounted price, marked price minus discount, 40,000. <clears> this is the discounted value. And CGST, rupees 00, 0 or nil. And this is also 00. 0. IGST, the full percentage you have to take. 28% of the discounted price. So, 40,000 you are getting, 11,200 you are getting as IGST. Therefore, the amount of bill you are adding, the discounted value plus tax. 
40 you are getting 51,200 rupees is the final amount yes in the same exercise i am explaining question number 13 here it is given sgst is 900 and gst 18 percent find the amount of the bill here what is given sgst gst 18 therefore sgst how much in this half 9 percentage we don't know what is the discounted price or list price or selling price there is no discount given so only the list price you can take the list price is x rupees here 9 percentage in this half so 9 percent of x is equal to 900 rupees 9 by 100 into x 900 x is equal to how much you are getting 10,000 rupees is you can take it as sp or list price or discounted value whatever the list price you can take so yes gst is 900 therefore cgst also 900 only half of equally they are dividing so 900 sgst means cgst also 900 therefore the final amount 10,000 plus 900 plus 900 rupees 11,800 so now you can understand what is this. So now you can do easily the first A exercise. All these sums you can. And next video I will explain about the first B exercise. All the